everyone, I'm Maggie and I'm here with Steve and we are getting ready to treat our bees with oxalic acid. You do not want to inhale the oxalic acid. We wonder how the bees can do it, but humans must not do it. We have a kit that we put together that has everything we need when we treat the bees. We have the fogger, we have a teaspoon, measuring spoon, we have the oxalic acid, we have cardboard to um, block the bottoms of our screened bottom boards. Activated charcoal filters to filter out the oxalic acid fumes or dust. And we have gloves that we use just for this occasion and we have our goggles if you have a screen bottom board you've got to make sure that um, that's pretty covered up steve is putting the, the cardboard under the hive you have to make sure that the entrance is as closed up as possible so the fumes stay inside the hive the vaporizer, which is a heated spoon that's powered by a 12 volt battery. We'll use a, a, a little over a half a teaspoon or a little over a gram of oxalic acid in this, in this hive. There it is. The vaporizer is loaded and ready for action. Get the spoon inside, block the hive off, and then connect the current for um, two and a half minutes. Then we close the hive up and let the fumes permeate the hive. And then uh, we turn the power off and let the spoon cool down in the hive for two minutes, bring the spoon out and block off the opening for 10 minutes. This battery is just a standard 12 volt automotive battery, starting battery. There it goes. So now it's time to shut the power off to this hive and we give it two minutes to, to cool off then bring the vaporizer spoon out and swab it off with a wet paper towel um, and the process of vaporization is completed. We'll block the hive up after that for another 10 minutes to make sure the fumes get into as much of the hive as possible. We did five hives and we, it took about um, an hour. We're planning to do this again in another five days to um, catch the mites that we didn't catch on this round. And um, then we'll probably treat them one more time before the winter. Yeah. There you go.